Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege, we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this supremely dark uh, sh uh, commission showcase which we've got for you today. We've got some awesome Dark Elder and also Yanari. Um, and where better place to start than with the two characters from this force? Uh, these are women painted by Ben, one of the artists here at Siege. He's done an incredible job on painting the Incarn and also Evrain from uh, the Yanari faction. Um, just really, really great models right from the sort of get-go with the sculpts that they've got. But uh, let's uh, jump in and have a look at the Incarn to start off with. Uh, always love this model uh, when it first came out just this really really cool uh, sort of energy etheric kind of energy swirl that's sort of surrounding uh, the model really really well painted by Ben obviously all the little gems and uh, bits of rock and things that have been picked up by that energy uh, just obviously sort of you can see they were highlighted and carried through that uh, that swell there all the little gems and stones and things or the soul stones that you can see just scattered through that uh, that swell uh, again a really nice dark desaturated sort of base almost like an urban environment basing on this uh, on this force um, and again just really really shows off the uh, super super amount of detail on this miniature you can see all the little uh, gems and everything all fully painted with catch lights and point of light source and blends um, the blades got this really cool kind of uh, sort of uh, the refracting of light kind of effect painted onto it as well which is just awesome you can see all the little details on the sort of, uh, I say exoskeleton, but sort of skin and flesh of that uh, awesome character, just uh, all highlighted in a pinky sort of purple colour with some really super nice uh, sort of shading done on it also. Uh, you can see all the little bits of uh, detail just on the face, all fully painted, the eye with that nice etheric kind of blue glow as well. Uh, but really, really absolutely love this model. Just uh, just something super, super different and uh, I've always, always liked it. You can see all the hair and everything all fully painted there, just in that sort of uh, desaturated white also. Uh, uh, and again, you can see the little horns and claws all done with a purple with a nice transitional color just painted on there as well, which is just great. Uh, so that's the Incarn, uh, what a model. Uh, and then we have a Rain uh, with her little chum, the cat feline friend, uh, do absolutely love this miniature. Also uh, really dainty, but extremely deadly. And uh, what I love specifically about this, is I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this in the camera, but hopefully you can. Ben's painted all the fur and texture on the cat as well, which is just awesome. Uh, just real nice attention to detail just on that miniature. You've got this awesome bit of sort of eldritch basing as well just on there just to add a little bit of narrative to the base you can see all the eyes and everything all fully painted on a rain as well that headdress all the sort of feathers and everything all sort of highlighted through multiple stages uh, really nice saturated warm gold across this uh, this piece as well and you can see all the little gemstones and everything all done i love the purple hue just on the blade as well You've got that light refraction shimmering effect on there as per our client request and then just uh, all the little details done on the miniature also uh, so that's just a rain a really really cool character uh, to lead this force alongside the uh, the deadly Encarn. So do hope you like both of those. We've got loads of infantry coming up guys, so I'm sure you're gonna enjoy those also. So up next in this really awesome custom Dark Elder or Drukari force, we have all of the Hellions and there is a vast swathe of them. Uh, 20 of them in total are uh, divided into four squads that are colorized by their sort of tribal markings on their sort of boards. Um, we've also got a sculpted and converted uh, troop or squad leader that also can be used individually as a beast master as well. Um, so let's jump in and have a look at them. Now Ben's done a great job. I'm going to start with the beast master first and foremost because he's an absolutely incredible miniature. Uh, really, really well executed. Uh, you can see it's got a sculpted sort of uh, faceplate here, obviously just with loads of little eyes and extra detail which is just awesome uh, you can see he's uh, got red tribal markings just on obviously his board uh, but you can see all the areas of highlighting work done across all of the miniature this really lovely emerald green uh, colorway of the board and also the sort of suit and details uh, sort of those red sort of tribal markings really complementing that nicely uh, we've got this, this lash whip here obviously with a nice green transition on it also uh, but you can see obviously all the little details on the face uh, and the sculpting work that's been done to add like little notches or sort of uh, sockets and things on there which is really cool a really menacing kind of face plate on this Beastmaster which is awesome so that's just the uh, the leader of uh, the sort of red squad as I call them um, but then obviously we've got a few more here for you to have a look at 
So again, a really, really nice example of some super clean painting of these Hellions, uh, just done to a really, really decent standard, uh, which is great. Uh, so that's just uh, another one of the Hellions from the squad, all armed with uh, the sort of double sort of ended uh, sort of blade weapons, which are just really, really, really cool. Again, here you just got another one of these awesome sort of uh, attacking sort of poses where they're just like leaning forward attacking, which is just great. Uh, so that's just really, really nicely executed model. All the edges done on the suits and also on the boards as well. Uh, which is really really good um, now clients given us some magnetic sheets to just uh, stick onto the bases as well uh, just so that for transport purposes these are super super easy to transport but you can see all the eyes and everything all fully painted on these all the little details on the suits and leather work all done uh, which is really really cool we've got this lovely blue glow in the um in the exhaust vents here of the uh, of the sort of uh, boards that they, they ride on, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so that's the members of uh, sort of the red sort of squad. Uh, then we'll have a look at uh, some of these other ones here. Again, just for consistency purposes, you can see obviously they've got like a sort of like a brownish goldish kind of marking on these boards here, which is really cool. Um, and again, just really, really nicely painted. All the areas of detail work fully painted on the miniatures, all the edges, all the metal work, all the suits, leather and extra details all done. Uh, again, really, really super cleanly done, which is just brilliant. So that's just another one of the models from this squad. Uh, I'll pull forward another one so you can have a look at this one. Uh, again, just a really, really cool pose on her. It's just uh, sort of uh, almost looking like she's got the weapon behind her, which is just really cool. Um, again, just chained onto the front of that skyboard there, as you can see, which is just cool. Uh, again, every little bit of detail fully, fully painted on the miniature, as you'd expect with us here at Siege. So that's just another one of the headings. Now, obviously, there's 20 of them, so they're all very, very similar in the sense of the consistency, uh, by the way, that we obviously do projects here. Uh, so I'll just have a look at it, pull forward another few here. So we've obviously got purple tribal marks markings on these ones just to denote that squad of five uh, again really really nicely consistent uh, do absolutely love all the eyes and everything are all fully painted on them as you can see here uh, but again really really cleanly and uh, nicely executed so that's just another one of the hellions um and then just we'll take one or two from this squad at the back here so this is just uh, what i call blue squad obviously with with the uh, blue tribal just on on his board as you can see there again really really well done ben's done a really phenomenal job on all of these hellions such a cool unit as well uh, just very 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 sort of uh, menacing and evil looking as you expect with any dark elder models uh, again all the hair and everything in that red as well just complementing the green really really nicely across the force uh, so yeah just 20 hellions and a special beast master again to lead which is just really really cool uh, i do hope that you've liked them ever so much we've got some more awesome miniatures coming up so check that out in a second So next we've got a whole swathe of uh, Dark Elder infantry, uh, a nice selection of models. So two different types, obviously we've got two squads of five Mandrakes and then we've got two squads of Incubi, uh, just in different uh, colorways. Uh, now the reason for this is uh, our client wants to denote them on the tabletop, so being able to instantly recognize the models is also a great benefit, uh, which is why the base rims are different colors throughout the uh, the units. Obviously you've got some with like a dark brown kind of base rim, a blue base rim, the Incubi are red with a red base rim and the, uh, the black Incubi are, I've got black base rims as well. So it really gives our client the ability to view all of their miniatures at different points on the tabletop and work out what models what quite quickly, uh, especially on the Mandrakes as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so let's jump in, have a look at them. We're gonna start the Mandrakes and work our way backwards. Uh, so again, just right from the get go here, we've got this awesome Mandrake. Uh, so that's uh, got this really, really nice etheric kind of uh, bluish greenish glow on various areas of the model. Uh, do love the, uh, the skin tone on these also as well. Just a really, really nice bluish kind of black kind of skin tone which is awesome and that white sort of uh, desaturated hair as well just to uh, really show a sort of age on these models which is quite cool uh, pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at them and again these awesome mandrakes just with their uh, sort of uh, glowing kind of uh, flesh and mutation of flesh which is really really awesome uh, again you can see all the cloth work and everything all fully painted on these guys as well let's just get that to focus apologies guys it's kind of a bit crazy um so yeah, so just really, really, really well painted on these uh, and these incredible uh, sort of uh, Mandrake models. So that's just those. And then we jump across to the other squad as well. And these have got a slight different color uh, difference on, on them. So obviously we've got like a, a red sash, a red rope on the sash on these. Um, and then obviously you've got the same etheric kind of greenish kind of yellowish kind of glow on the energy parts as well, which is just awesome. Uh, pull forward another one. And you can see the blue base rims on these, of course, obviously just so that they have, a, uh, you know, they're instantly recognizable on the, on the tabletop. 
So that's the Mandrakes. Then we've got probably one of my favourite Dark Elder units, which are the Incubi. Uh, again, really, really do love these. And uh, Ben's done a great job of, uh, of just painting all the little bits and bobs on these deadly, deadly models. Uh, do really like the uh, green glow just on the head uh, dresses and the helmets. So it's that the sort of energised green glow. See subtle green kind of glows just on the weapons as well. But obviously these uh, they look ferocious in red armour, which I just absolutely love them. Really, really cool, this crimson colourway that's been put on to them uh, and obviously various different weapon loadouts there is some magnetization on these as well so just obviously the, uh, the the squad leader can take a different weapon loadout as well or you can make another one into a squad leader and have two five-man units should you wish uh, so that's just this awesome awesome uh, sort of red colored armored incubi uh, do absolutely love them. all the little trinkets and totems just on those sort of racks on the back of them obviously the little gemstones and things uh, just nice little details just painted onto those which i think is great um, i will pull forward the squad leader with that awesome weapon that he's carrying him uh, and then i'll jump across and have a look at the uh, have a look at the uh, black armored versions of them as well uh, again you can see the red base rims just to denote this unit on the tabletop um, but again really really well painted by ben all the little details across the miniature are just done to a super super high standard uh, and again we've got this really nice kind of like urban desaturated basing across the force just to not distract and take away from the vibrant colors that are used on some of these miniatures like the uh, mandrakes uh, then we'll pull forward some of the uh, sort of black armored uh, incubi as well just to kind of match that kind of box art kind of uh, colorway as well just getting that to focus for you guys um Again, you see that lovely green glow just on the helms as well of these guys as well. Uh, and love the uh, sort of purple accent on the sashes as well. I think that just works extremely, extremely well compared to the rest of the colorway of the miniatures. Uh, so that's just one of the Incubi. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the uh, squad leader from this unit also. Uh, just wielding that double bladed weapon as well. Just really, really aggressive and evil looking as you'd expect from any Dark Elder models. Um, but just really, really well done. Uh, do love the little red tassels on there as well, just that complementary colour to the green hues that are on the miniature. Um, again, you've got this really nice desaturated sort of basing, sort of uh, urban schemed basing, which I think works quite nicely with these as well. Uh, so that's just the other squad leader. And then I'll pull forward just a few of these little icons as well. Uh, Ben's done these for our client, just in case they need them for sort of like markers or whatever for different things, uh, just getting that to focus. You can see the Ben's done a really nice kind of like marble effect on them as well, which I think works really, really nicely. Uh, and there's four of these to go with the uh, all the infantry in the force. So I do hope that you like them ever so much. Uh, and you've liked all of these awesome Dark Elder miniatures. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.